Corey Tin Boom said, Who can add to Christmas? The perfect motive is that God so loved the world. The perfect gift is that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. The only requirement is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The reward of faith is that you shall have everlasting life. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 244. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ by believing on him. For the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou you shalt be saved. And also to begin to live your life according to his word, his will, and his way so that you can be blessed in this life and in the life to come. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is John 3.3, which reads, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Casting Crowns Singing Group. They said, people aren't confused by the gospel. They are confused by us. Jesus is the only way to God, but we are not the only way to Jesus. This world doesn't need my tie, my hoodie, my denomination, or my interpretation of the Bible. They just need Jesus. We can be passionate about what we believe, But we can't strap ourselves to the gospel because we are slowing it down. Jesus is going to save the world, but maybe the best thing we can do is just get out of the way. Holy Father God, we thank you for blessing us to be reminded about our Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you for what we have heard, and we pray that you'll help us to take heed to your holy word, and help us to be the shining lights and witnesses that you want us to be in this dying and lost world. We pray that many will look beyond us indeed, and see you, Lord Jesus, and come to know you as Savior before it is eternally too late. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Beloved, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. The way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Uh, Dear friend, do you want to know the way to heaven and uh, to all of these other blessings as well? Allow me to show you the way. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin, a punishment for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. 
Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell because of sin and because you have never accepted the payment for sin, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. For Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 10, 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also the Bible states in Revelation 21, 8, but the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, dear friend, this is bad news, but I have some good news for you. Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart to save your soul and to change your life, and he will do it. For the Bible says in Romans 10, 9 through 13, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, your heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved until next time my beloved please remember that at the end of the day only one thing matters and that's Jesus just Jesus and nothing else. God bless you.